How to vacuum seal liquids using the USV20 chamber vacuum sealer. We recommend the largest bag size for the USV20 is an 11 by 10 chamber vacuum pouch. Now, when vacuum sealing liquids, it's important to remember to not fill the bag any more than halfway full. This is to prevent the bag from overflowing when it's laid down in the chamber. Also, when it's under vacuum, it might have the tendency to creep towards the seal bar and you don't want the bag to overflow. Now, this is about four cups um, of soup in the 11 by 10 pouch. This is probably the absolute max that we would recommend in uh, this size of pouch. So a, four cups in an 11 by 10 pouch. So now all we have to do is open the lid, lay your pouch in the chamber, place the bag over the seal bar, make sure you clamp down the bottom side of the bag using the pouch clamp, lower it in place. Make sure you position the bag so it's smooth across the seal bar. Another thing to keep in mind when vacuum sealing liquids is to make sure that your contents are uh, room temperature or cooler. You never want to vacuum seal anything that is hot or even warm. Once your bag is placed, Lower the lid. We've got our vacuum time set to 20, which is the default setting, and our seal time set to four since we're using an Avid Armor chamber pouch. And then all we have to do is press the auto vacuum seal button. If you notice your liquids approaching the seal bar while it's under vacuum and it looks like they're going to overflow, you can immediately press the seal button. It will seal the bag and then vacuum seal it. Now, if you press the cancel button, that's going to abort the entire vacuum and seal process. It will not seal the bag, but your liquids will um, go back into the bag and prevent it from overflowing. Once your vacuum cycle is complete, you can lift your lid. Inspect your pouch, make sure everything looks nice and vacuum sealed and that your seal is clean and consistent. And now your liquids are ready for storage.